So what I'm going to do, this is just like a, a test one. So I'm going to be in pizza wheat crust. There we go. Nice name for it. Uh, S2 for issue. I'm just going to place a quick order with in pizza wheat crust. What are we have in? We'll have loads of test items. Continue. Yeah. This is from their website. Yeah. Is this live? On, I don't think this is live on our website, is it? At the moment. Uh, Yo. I mean, I have a quick look. Yeah. Was it in pizza we crust? Pizza we crust. So we've got one in kitchen. If you can hear that noise now. Yeah, yeah. it's quite annoying. It's good. Yeah, <laughs> so if I, as I click to other areas, it's just going to remind me, saying, "Look." You've still got something in the other area, kids. Start doing it. But if I wasn't to, if I was just to leave it like that, every minute it kind of it will refresh itself. Okay. It's like an auto refresh, so you can leave it like that, um, and it will. Uh, let me move the cameras because you're covering what I'm trying to trying to point at. Um, so yeah, you can see along here what it's showing the customer order numbers, names, all this kind of good stuff. Um, and, and what effectively you do is they've added a button here to the side that says in review or review. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, next to that. So, but review does exactly the same as what I'm going to do now. I'm just going to click on the order number. As you can see, it's still going to remind me and annoy me until I click accept. Uh, so you get a full view of the order details. And effectively, what I'm looking at is can I get that order ready for ASAP for collection at that point there? Yeah. Um, and as long as the answer is yes, yeah, it's just an accept. And it goes, I oh, do you want to take it from pending to preparing? Yeah, it's probably going to annoy me in a second again to tell me. It will then ask, do you want to print this order? Obviously, a lot of ours aren't printing them. They're just controlling it all from the computer. But if they've got a printer connected, they can print it out. But well, I'm just going to put no clothes on this one. Yeah. And then you can probably see some more options have appeared for me up in the top right. Mm -hmm. Add time, cancel, and ready. Yeah, what I'm gonna, I'll come back to that in a second. I'll just show you on this screen now. So you can see it's gone out of the impending section. It's going to stop annoying me with the alerts. Um, and as I look across the top, I, there we go. Liam B has now jumped into the in-kitchen section with a status of preparing. And I've got three new icons at, at the end. These three icons just relate to the three icons here. Yeah, so add time is one of them. So do you know if they accept and go, actually, I can't get it ready for... For, yeah, for that time. Yeah, give me give me another fifteen minutes. There we go, fifteen uh -huh. minutes. Okay. Confirm. Yeah. There we go. It's now that's now updated the customer that look your now expected delivery with you is going to be fifteen thirty. Yeah, so that's emailed them and all that good stuff through the app. Brilliant. Uh, that kind of stuff. Or we can go. Actually, I've not got any of those items in. Right? Or I've just got a call from the customer. These happen. Oh, this is what I'm finding. Call from the customer. I've totally balls my order up. Yeah, can I just cancel it? Yeah, not a problem. Hit cancel. Um, and then uh, it comes up with a message here. This is predefined. So this is a standard. So the, the restaurant, what you say to the outlets is you type whatever you want in there. And that's going to populate an email if you want. Sorry, I haven't got those items in start cancel. And they can go and change the menus or whatever it is they can do there. Yeah. Or the final one, which... We pretty much say you should never have to press this button. If you having to, if you need to press this button, all right, because you think that the tax is late or anything like that, double check the pickup time. Yeah, don't don't prepare tomorrow's food today, which some of them are doing. Yeah, yeah. just they're accepting pre-orders. Yeah, but uh, what we've got, if you press ready, it'll come up and, and confirm. Look, are you, are you sure you want to take it from preparing to ready? What that does is obviously it releases the taxi early. And it changes the status to ready. Yeah. Just to confirm, if you press cancel, that does three things. It will cancel it off their system. It will process the refund. Yeah, and it will also cancel the tax that's been booked in for them. Yeah, so it does that kind of three things by hitting that cancel, uh, which is good. Um, because this is test, I'm going to press ready. Obviously, like I say, you want to try and set to them. You don't need to. It will automatically go from in kitchen to the ready section. And there we go, mine's now gone, pick up booked. That means, it's if you look there, it's updated the pick up time um, to pretty much now, in the next 10 minutes, the, the driver's going to be on the way to them. Uh, if I look at them statuses now, 
as you can see, I've, I've lost some statuses or some yeah. buttons. Yeah, I've got cancel, I've got complete. Uh, it won't actually allow you guys to press complete. That will automatically do it when the taxi status is sent back um, upon completion. If you do get any um, stuck or anything like that, we, we can solve that within seconds for you. But what about you if, if um, sorry, Liam, if you took on something out briefly, if I think we've got it's like a one or a one day advancement. So if someone just said, not that it will happen, but um, oh, I'll pick you at two o'clock tomorrow. Bang. Yeah, Where, where's the, set, the setting for the next day on there? I'm just trying to see where it is. What, so you can see next for, day or what? So, yeah, so if someone pays for a pizza but they want it at two o'clock tomorrow, so they don't want to yeah. think about it, is it in the, the like a, a preformed? Uh, so when they, when they order it, it'll tell you. Uh, it tells the. Uh, what I'll do, I, I think this will let me order for one for tomorrow so you can see the difference from ASAP. Random postcodes in, but uh, in pizza we crust we are, aren't we? So when they're selecting their pickup times, oh, I'll, I'll, I'll see. Yes, so yes. this is when the this is when the customers ordering they can, yeah. oh, uh, and when and when that comes through to the restaurant, yeah, it's quite clear across the top. Um, I'll just again, I'll do the same again, so you can see. You've seen, oh, I got a bit carried away there with my <laughs> orders. Good job it's not real, or is it real? <laughs> I'm a bugger for putting it on the live system. So, but no. Yeah, so if I jump over to our annoying thing, see now there it's gone pick up tomorrow. Yes. Yeah, it's gone, it's in one day just to try and make it a bit more clearer to them. Yeah. Um, we've, gone, we've gone one step further from this. It's then got a big warning across the top to say it's not today, it's yeah. tomorrow. Yeah. And I think the latest update we put this week or in the next couple of weeks is even more clearer that, you know, if they try and press the ready button too early, yeah, it jumps out the screen, slaps them in the face and says, look, this is for tomorrow. Yeah, so we're making it crystal clear to them that the difference between it's today booking or tomorrow booking, if I accept that again, um, so you can see transition from pending, yeah, if I go into the in-kitchen, yeah, again, look, we can see it's green, or red, sorry, it's in... Well, that's a day late, sorry. And, and, that, and, that, and that will, the same time tomorrow then, so whatever time, what is it, like a 15 minute before it's, I don't know, the order, it, it'll redo exactly what we're doing now in 24 hours. Yeah, it'll just work its way through. So yeah. The reason I can't say exactly because it depends on your lead time. So yeah, yeah, but there your jobs go out yeah. 10 minutes early. That's 10 minutes before the, so at 20, uh, 12.30 tomorrow, this tack, this is going to jump from the in kitchen section, yeah, over to this section automatically. That's fine, brilliant. Yeah, no need then, to click ready at all. Liam, do we need to set them up for pre order, or or can you automatically pre order from any of them? Do you mean the outlets? Yeah, um, that's done within. So you you configure that. Um, right. What am I that, that, that live then? I thought I'm in live. Don't want to be messing live. Yeah. So if I look down, so when you go into your outlet, yeah, in Pizza We Crust, I think it's that one. Yeah, down here the fulfilment times. Yeah, right. See the days offered there. Yeah. Yeah. One is today, which. Yeah. yeah so if it's one, so it's going to offer you today, and because it's got two, it's going to offer you tomorrow. If I extend okay. that, that's going to offer me more days in advance. So it's down yeah. to the outlet. Um, so that's part of your setup process. Okay. Or our sales team, implementation implementation team, that's part of their conversation that they go, how far in advance do you want bookings? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just today and tomorrow kind of thing. Or but it only does, a, it, it's just a new function that's changed today that only does up to five days in advance, doesn't it, now? Yeah, well, it's on, it's on here anyway. It, yeah, it, yeah. So you can see up to five days. So, yeah, it's, it's quite a good feature for some. We've got, we're starting to get quite a few now, aren't we, Amy, come on board that are, mm -hmm looking for this kind of pre-order kind of market where they're getting told two days in advance to bake a cake and have it ready. Yeah. It's, you know, it's helping those little little local businesses get back on board, which is good. Yeah.